In this video, Kevin and I are going to be going over our likes and dislikes for the month of October uh, 2024. If it, it, if it, you feel like it's a bunch, see, I don't feel like it's that much that I'm looking at. But if it made it to this video, we do at least four videos a day, reviews, um, sometimes more. Uh, but if it made it to this video, we either absolutely loved it or we really hated it. And so... Um, Kevin uh, will have another hate at the end of the video, but for my channel, uh, we have a couple of hates. We're going to start off with those, and then we'll move on to the things that we really liked. Uh, this might surprise, if you didn't see the, the video, the review, this will probably surprise some people because I love the Laughing Cow Cheese. I think it's great stuff. My favorite flavor is uh, the Creamy Spicy Pepper Jack. It's wonderful. Buy it all the time. Or I haven't bought it in a while, but that's the one, the flavor that I buy when I do buy Laughing Cow. This one is the Everything Bagel, and it's a limited edition, and it's a good thing it's a limited edition because I said uh, you thought it had a funny flavor, and I said I absolutely hated it. Tasted like very old garlic. So you don't want to be eating old garlic old so that will be one i would never buy again or recommend and then the <laughs> junior's cheesecakes now let me just say that um some people have a fondness for juniors i um I have, we've reviewed a lot of cheesecakes from many, many different companies, and uh, Junior's would probably be in our last place. Uh, there are so many better cheesecakes that you can buy. If in you, our opinion. In our opinion. Uh, these didn't even have a crust. They didn't even have a crust. But, but the flavor, uh, this one, this is the pineapple cheesecake. And I wrote to very. You think we would love pineapple? Oh, I love yeah. Very acidic, not sweet, dry texture, old pineapple. Mm -hmm. All of these, even when we ate at the restaurant in New York, we ate the cheesecake because I'm thinking, uh, surely it's better from the restaurant, and surely people are saying, oh, you have to uh, leave it at room temperature or whatever. We've had it at the res at the temperature that the restaurant served it to us, and we. Still, it, it just isn't that great. This one is the, uh, this one was horrific. This is the cherry cheesecake. And I wrote, tasted like bloody meat. <laughs> I didn't like it either. I didn't think it tasted like meat, but it was, it it was really, not good It really, to me, tasted like bloody meat. I, um, it, I did not like it at all. I'm just not going to buy any more of these Junior's mm -hmm. cheesecakes. And if the I toppings them, were weird looking on. They were really like thick and like it just like they'd gotten gelatinous. I mean, she's not for just, us. It, you know, a lot of people have a. Um, but you know what? If you if you've eaten juniors your whole life and that's what you've that's what grown you're up used with to. and that's what you're used to, then of course you're gonna like that better than other cheesecakes. But that's what I was gonna say. Like people have a fondness for Twinkies because that's part of their childhood and they have memories associated with that. I think people are the same way about Junior's Cheesecakes. Uh, now, their food, we ate there tw twice yeah, yeah, the and the food good. was good. It's just the cheesecakes weren't good. Mm -hmm. So I understand you wanting to eat there and all that, but I just wouldn't get dessert. We wouldn't um, get dessert. We wouldn't get dessert. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna move on to the things that we liked. Uh, Matt's Bakery. Uh, these are the apple oat crisp soft baked cookies, and you really like these mm -hmm. too. Yeah, they're they're really good cookies. And they're very good. Most quality. of the Matt's cookies are pretty good. Mm -hmm. They're dairy free, all natural ingredients, so they do cost a little bit more money, but they have really good ingredients mm -hmm. too that you can pronounce, read all the ingredients, and so that is nice. They don't have like four soft baked cookies. They don't have that artificial really weird flavor. flavor yeah that most of the soft baked cookies have mm -hmm. yeah it's really, it's really weird do you want to keep doing yours or it seems um, like you have a lot but i have i know you know. it does seem like i have a lot. um these are the doritos minis the jumping jack cheese so i i finished this 
thing off. Uh, they were just really good flavors, and I would buy these in the full size uh, flavors as well if mm -hmm. they had them. But I like the minis because you can just take the can and just pour. <laughs> I absolutely love this flavor. They're very, very good. And it had some people. It, it had some kick to it too, didn't it? Some yeah. people commented that they they wish they would bring them back. Yeah, me too, because those are awesome. Like yeah. I would buy those over the Cole Ranch. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I liked them quite mm -hmm. a bit. So definitely worth trying out if you see them. Uh, Garrett, Garrett Popcorn Shops. This is the Garrett Mix. They have excellent popcorn. I really like this. I said during the video, we bought this. I, I wanted to try this brand because I had seen this on Shameless. And I haven't seen it in a while now on Shameless. But there was a, a season on Shameless where you were seeing the Garrett trucks. Makes you wonder if they paid for that or if... I'm sure they did for Or if Shameless just wanted to promote it because it's a Chicago yeah, company. Which they paid for. Um, but... Because uh, <laughs> Kellogg's is the thing that's been in the season this year. Oh, is it? Yeah, I've seen Kellogg's everywhere in the show. Um, in the oh, show, and yeah. we've seen so much Melville. Yeah. Aldi brands. Aldi yeah, brands Aldi's are big on that show. But anyway, Garrett Popcorn, um, if you ever see it, don't be afraid to get it. it uh, it's very, very good quality. <laughs> uh, caramel corn is great texture, very sweet, yeah, very nice. Good popcorn. Um, then I have, this is a surprise, because this is a Frozen Farmer, and this is the Barbie. It's Raspberry Cupcake gl uh, Glitz. We really have given the Frozen Farmer down the road before, because um, they had, um, it was, one of them was supposed to be like an elf on the shelf. Oh. And it was supposed to have a specific, it was supposed to taste like, I don't know, like cookie dough sugar. or a sugar yeah, cookie. Sugar. Yeah, it didn't at all. And then we did a, um, a little side uh, science experiment. Would, will it melt? And it did not melt. And it's like, uh, th th there's something wrong here. If this is able to sit out for hours and hours and hours and not melt. There was a, there's other brands that are the same way. Yeah. But um, I, I'm saying this surprises me that this made it into favorites. It was it's so really good. good it made it to favorites because we have really given them down the road before. But this was excellent. Mm. This is uh, raspberry cupcake glitz. Like I said, the raspberry was so sweet and so delicious. We have only seen um, in our area. This brand, I think, is only sold at Kroger. Yeah, I've seen it. I don't think I've seen it at Walmart or anything mm. like that. But, uh, you know, sometimes you see, like, the Barbie name or, or one of these, like, Elf on the Shelf things, and you're thinking, that's just, um, just to get that, to get you to buy it, a gimmick. This one wasn't. This was really nice. It was good. Nice ice cream. It was really good. Uh, these, here you can take one. Uh, these are the Fidel, F F F F F F Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Um, I have the Chive and Onion. And this is garden vegetable. And we should switch because this was your favorite and this was my favorite. <laughs> but these were just, these were like dips. Like like you would put, not dips. They were like a spread you would put on like a bagel or something like that. Not not a sour cream dip, more of a cream cheese spread. And uh, the flavors were just excellent. I like that one too, but I like this one better. Um, and I love the chive and It was onion. really, really good. It's not something you would necessarily want to dip like chips in because it was too dense. But, um, but spreading on crackers or a sandwich or English muffin or a bagel or something like that. Excellent. Awesome. Excellent. Yeah, good love flavors. these two. Love mm -hmm. these two. And I like that one too. Yeah. I just like the chive and onion yeah, they were all They were all good. Yes. Especially yes. the savory ones. Yeah, I like those too. Okay, I have the Shamrock Farms. This is the pumpkin spice eggnog. If you see this, uh, you should get it. Um, <laughs> it is safe to buy. It is delicious. Well, Kevin and I love eggnog anyway, so it's hard to find an eggnog that that we don't like unless they it's like a light or an almond version. Yeah, yeah. Unless it's Cashew not milk or something. Unless like that. it's yeah. not the real thing. When it's the real deal eggnog, 
um, it's hard to to say, oh, we don't like that. This Usually is, the only time we don't like those is when they went too heavy with the spice or mm -hmm. they didn't put any spice. You know, it's one of those two. Yeah, and now that I'm thinking about it, we didn't even like the regular one from Aldi. Mm -hmm. Aldi, we didn't like the regular or, so I say, we usually like them all. We did not like the Aldi no, one. No, because the spices it's, were very they yeah they did not do yeah they didn't they didn't get the spice right yeah. in the Aldi yeah that's what it yeah was. so I didn't put it in hates but I wouldn't buy either one of those Aldi ones yeah uh, but this that was really good uh, Shamrock Farms we have really liked what we found yep. from Shamrock Farms yeah. and we don't see this brand everywhere this is usually I think we found this uh, big bottle at Kroger. But we normally see the smaller bottles at uh, Dollar General Store. Yeah. Okay, let me show this one. This is Blitzed Dips and Snacks. This mm -hmm. is the Spicy Jalapeno Popper Dip. I'm pretty sure we found this at Kroger as well. And I did have some of you all that told me I've never seen that brand, never heard of this brand. This isn't going to be next. This wasn't in the same cabinet. Is like other dips this was in like the specialty dips um what would you call that cabinet like where the hummus is and all that stuff yeah yeah you know where i'm talking the about deli when we found area. this the yeah the, stuff. exactly that's where we found this yeah. and unfortunately I that was in the bigger Kroger, wasn't it yes in like so yeah. the, our bigger Kroger that we go to in Lexington has the deli and the bakery, and then and the seafood right next to it, which is the lovely smell when you're looking for bacon. Kevin hates hate that it. they put the seafood. Why would they put the seafood next to the, next to the baking stuff? It just ruins the smell of the bread. It's just awful. Anyway, um, it so, should be the farthest. Yeah, they should put that at the other end of the meat counter, next, not, to, the next to the bakery. <laughs> yeah, for real. So, um, so they've got that, and they've got a whole cabinet. I mean, a whole cooler full of like. Uh, gourmet cheeses and dips and, and sauces and all kinds of stuff. Now ours does not have that big of a cabinet. It's just like a little floor display cooler. The one in Winchester. Yeah, the smaller one. Uh, yeah, but Kroger. the one in Lexington that we it's go huge. to where we found this, yes, it's, it's, it's a huge it's cabinet. Big, they, so. It's it's a big Kroger. So depending on what your Kroger looks like, that's where you find yeah, it. Yeah, but this was wonderful. It dip. was very good. Totally get it all the time. It was fantastic. Yeah. Um, then I have, I have a couple things from I Trader Joe's. I have six more things. Okay, well, let me do one yeah, of mine. you keep on going. I have, I have two things here from Trader Joe's. I'll show you these first, because these were a huge surprise. These are the mini chocolate chip cookies. Mm, yeah. And. I remember them. We're just not like, like, I'm not, we're, neither one of us will go out and buy like Chips Ahoy chocolate chip cookies. It's just not our thing. No. These, however, were very buttery. You could actually taste the chocolate in the chocolate chips. It tasted like real chocolate. And they were small and crunchy. Uh, they're wonderful. Yeah. They're wonderful they're little very, very cookies. Good. This was a very pleasant surprise that they had so much flavor in these little cookies. And this whole package was only 270 calories. Mm -hmm. So I definitely think if you, if you haven't tried those from Trader Joe's, I would pick those up. And then also from Trader Joe's, I like this more than Kevin, but I actually finished this. This is the Trader Joe's Maple Spiced Net Mix. And I had this in the pile. I was going to give it away. I was going to, because I liked it, but I was going to give it away. This is one of those things where somebody commented once and said, you know if you're going into the giveaway pile and that you like it that much mm -hmm. to eat it, that it must be really, really good. That's how I felt about this nut mix. It has ma uh, maple, rosemary, almonds, and pecans with red and black pepper, sweet and dried cranberries, and pepitas. And to me, I could not stop eating this. And so, yeah, it didn't get given away. It, <laughs> it was this. I would buy this over and over again. Loved it. Me do them. Yeah. Uh, this is the. 365 brand, which is Whole Foods, the apple cider sandwich creams. And they're like, you know, sandwich creams like a Oreo or whatever. But the apple cider was really good in this. I mean, they did an excellent job of getting the spices and the apple and the crunchiness of the cookie without being hard. 
the the whole cookie was just really a matter of fact i think we compared these to the heb ones they were really close yes because they're to the softer. heb ones because yeah. the heb is like one of our favorite like apple flavored cookies mm -hmm. and uh, sandwich cookies these were really close to that to that brand these were really really good and I don't know how long they're going to be out, so get them if you can. Yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know if they're out right I now. I don't even know if they're still out right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't know. I, I didn't pay they're attention. They're fall, like limited edition, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I didn't still pay attention when we were in there. Yeah. Okay. What else you got? Can we do another one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You've, uh, got a, you've got. So, while we didn't like a cheesecake, we loved the Cheesecake Factories. Uh, these are called the wedges, and it's basically a round cheesecake, and they've just cut it into fourths and literally stuck that that fourth of that round cheesecake in the box. And it was really nice packaging. You grabbed it, and you pulled it right out, you sliced it right there on the piece of cardboard, and it was really nice. And there was, uh, yeah, four slices, and they were decent sized slices. Well, uh, I cut know. them, and it, yeah, and you, yeah but, the, but once you, yeah, once I cut them, it was still like, you would think it what wouldn't be big enough, but it was. It was plenty. Of, it's very rich. That's why. So this one particularly is the strawberry topped cheesecake. Um, it was just awesome. The mm -hmm. the jam, the strawberry jam, like on top, was just like top notch. And it actually looked. It looks. Like it actually like looked that. like that picture mm -hmm. on the front. It was uh, like a fresh jam we spread on top. It was our preserve. Um, it was just excellent. It was what's, really, really good. What's funny about these is that we traveled like, I don't know, what, 85 miles or yeah, something somewhere. to go to Publix to get these. And we had to, uh, which didn't know this, um, I was talking to the guy checking us out. He was really super friendly. And I, ta I told him that we had to stop it to get dry ice before we traveled all this way. Mm -hmm. And he said, oh, we sell dry ice. And I'm like, you do really and he said it's yes hidden. it's right over there and he pointed to it and so i said well let me buy another one while i'm here so i went and got another one but i'm so glad i got into that conversation with him because i would have had no idea that Publix has dry ice at least that Publix. Does. right but honestly if we were to go that far again i told kevin i said i would still stop at meyer before we went there because so we take a chance you don't out. know that they might be out of it yeah. because we've been to meyer plenty of times and they've been completely sold mm -hmm. out of dry ice but what's funny about this is that we bought these wedges there were four boxes of these and we took up room in the cooler and everything and bought them at publix uh, just uh, not too long ago, we were at the Big Kroger I was just telling you about in Lexington. They had all those. Did they have all four? Yes, they I had. I knew all... I saw a couple of them. I didn't know they Well, had I don't know if they had all four. Yeah. They had a few of them. They had at least place. a few of them. And it was yeah. like, oh my gosh, we took up that room in that corner. We traveled with it. We traveled with it, and now here they are at Kroger. They'd be so... like going to Hawaii, finding something that neat and putting it in your luggage and paying for the weight and then getting home yes. and seeing how oh, they have it in our grocery. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dun, dun, or the dun. UK or wherever, you know, <laughs> yes. you fly. But yes. that, that strawberry was very fresh and, mm -hmm. and, and just bursting with flavor, whereas the other one we didn't like was bleh. <laughs> yeah. The cheesecake and everything. Blood, well, blood, the, blood. The, cheese, the cheesecake and everything was like dry and crumbly, whereas mm. the Cheesecake Factory is very creamy. Completely and different experience. Completely Night different and experience. Day. So. And that's why I'm, I, I, I really say uh, accentuate the fact that we ate it directly from the restaurant too. So people tr can't use the excuse, oh, that's just because it's frozen. No, we had the fresh stuff too. Yeah, it's, good. it's the same way. Yeah. Okay. Go so, ahead. You've got tons over there. Yeah, but mine are like... Okay. I mean, I can do mine and just finish oh, no, mine no, off no. if you want. No, that's okay. This... Um, it's I'll... not like we talk about this stuff beforehand. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not at all. We don't plan at all. This, uh, you're going to be seeing a lot more of these in just a minute. This is the Universal Yums Advent Calendar. So we bought this at World Market, and you open it up, and you, you get a book... Uh, 24 days, but we did this whole video. We, we, when we review an advent calendar, we usually do it all in one go. Yeah, so you can see if it's worth getting for you. Yes. Or for a gift. And this uh, was our beginning yeah. to Universal Yums because I'm so impressed with them. Uh, I love that they give you a book. I love the detail that they put in the book. Uh, you always get calories and the nutritional information. You get all the ingredients for every item. Uh, this was this was enough. Every single day was enough for four people. 
So you could spend the money and buy this one advent calendar and have enough for a family of four. There was a piece for each person in your family in this advent mm -hmm. calendar. And so if I were to get an advent calendar for... Uh, and you like candy. And you like candy and stuff like that, um, I would 100% get this for mm -hmm. them. I, yeah. I think it, it's a terrific advent calendar. I really do. Yeah. Um, but it is all candy, so just know that. But well, it's, it's candy. There was some clotted cream. There was. It's um, mostly like caramel. There was stuff. milk chocolate eclairs. Yeah, but I'm saying so it's all other... like chocolate. There's nothing savory oh, in it. No, no, it's no. all sweet. Stuff. Okay, I didn't yeah, understand that's what you I meant. Meant. There's no chips. It's not chips. like hard candy or anything. Yeah, there's there. no chips or anything. Yeah, there. it's all sweet. I understand stuff. what you're candy saying. Candy bars and, and things like that. But the, yeah, it was really, really good. So then, after we had such great luck with that Universal Yums, then World Market, uh, I was in there, like, we've been going in there every week. Uh, they had this Germany box laying on an end cap. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, the advent calendar was so good. Let's buy the Germany box. And so we reviewed the Germany box. And I can tell you our favorites from the Germany box were the this Porta... It is, uh, it had milk oh, chocolate cherry. with amar amarina cherry flavored filling. Yeah, this was, was awesome. Uh, <laughs> yes, loved it. And then this is the Pfeffermint. That was good too. And it is a mint chocolate. But this box, um, it's a lot of fun. They always list on the outside. So, so if you look at it, you'll know what you're going to get. Yes. And I say that because we have bought like a, a, a box, box of Kit Kats. Uh, yeah. um, and you didn't know what you were going to get, and it was a complete waste of money. Yeah, and it was like 50 bucks. And Yeah, and you you had no idea what you were going to get on the outside of the box. Most of these food boxes don't tell you that. So, like, they have Hello well, Kitty boxes. They have, like, four different foreign boxes. They don't tell you what they're going to give you. Right. And so, really, it's best to know, it, it's to be informed. But this uh, this box from Germany was terrific. Yeah, it was really good. Um, then we uh, we did a box from the UK. The UK was was very fun to try, but I did not put it in here. I enjoyed it, but I didn't put it in here just because the. Things that are in this video I, were our had some of our favorite foods in them. So, uh, yes, it's fun to try the UK box, but none of the foods made our favorite food. Yeah, they were good. They just These weren't. boxes actually had food that made our favorite food. Right. So, this one um, I bought from um, Amazon. Yeah. And it's like $5 more. Yes. And so, our my favorite from this box, I don't know about Kevin, but my favorite, I loved this soft nougat. It had orange. No, it was good. It was okay. Love it, love it, love it. And then this. That was that was my favorite. Was basically like a. Uh, it was Turkish delight, basically. Pistachio. Yes, and for you to say this was a favorite of yours too mm -hmm. with pistachio. Yeah, but it wasn't like really earthy green pistachio. It was. It was. Uh, just a really good one. And again, comes with a book, tells you what you get, mm -hmm. calories are on the back. That was the one that was really coated in powdered sugar, and they yes. were odd shapes. They weren't yes. all perfectly square. It has square. a thick, thick, thick layer of powdered it sugar. It looks just like it does on the And front. most Turkish delight that we've had has not been it's that well coated with powdered sugar. Yeah. So next we have... Another Universal Yums. <laughs> this is uh, the, a tasting adventure to Italy. And this one I also bought from Amazon. Amazon. And it also tells you exactly what you get. Calories on the back. There's a book. I have kept the books. I don't know why I've kept the books, but I've kept the books. Because uh, it's like, what am I going to do with these books? But we both loved. The, yeah, those these are, really are little almond. They're crisp almond cookies. and They the, almost look like they'd be a piece of cereal. Yes, they're teeny tiny things, like toddler food, but you wouldn't want to give them no, to a toddler. No, they're very hard and crunchy. But they have a uh, just a terrific almond flavor. Yeah, al almond cherry kind of flavor. They're, mm, they're really good. Wonderful. And then I love these. These are little um, uh, tomato and oregano. It, um, they're like crackers. Yeah. But they're about as big as a quarter, and they're, they're really ring. thick. Yes, it's a ring, but it's like it's like three or four crackers in one bite because it's so much. Yeah, even though they're, big they're and they say these are the small versions. I know. So these the, are the, the a mini version. Mini version of a bigger version. Yeah, yeah. and and it's like how how big is the 
the regular I size. guess the regular size, you break it up and eat it. I guess so, mm -hmm. but I'd like to see them. <laughs> um, but, um, they were good. Uh, so Universal Yums, really, uh, we just, we have really been impressed. And if I see other countries, um, either on Amazon or at World Market, preferably at World Market because they're five dollars cheaper uh, but if I if I see them I would absolutely get them mm -hmm. and if you have a foodie in your life or if you are a foodie if you like trying different things I recommend them I think they're, yeah. they're a lot of fun and we even said in all those videos like for a family of four you may have to cut some of the stuff with a knife but for the most part there's enough in each bag to give out to at least four people yeah and share it with your family have a have a food tasting night oh, you yeah. know a little, so a little much fun, fun night it would be yeah. fun Okay, so what do you have? Um, I'm going to do these two. These are the Publix. These are more of their fall, winter flavors of ice creams. I have the limited edition marshmallow candy cane cookie blast. And then I have deep dish apple pie. Um, this was my favorite. Okay. Out of the bunch. I really, really like the apple in that one though because they did a really good job on the apple. Mm -hmm. They really did have pieces of apple in there. The mm -hmm. crust was really nice. Everything. This is the best though because you got that cookie core. That cookie swirl, oh, it was just like gritty, hard kind of texture. It was mm -hmm. really good. So. And somebody commented how sweet you were that you wanted me to have the best bite. That you I wanted to have the big thick you, part because <laughs> I'd already got a big bite of it. So, you know, I wanted you to make sure People you People notice some. that you're nice to me. Yes. <laughs> so, but these are really good. Um, they All their flavors are pretty good for their limited edition, but these were like the top of. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we we like Publix ice creams, yeah, and when we for, when, and for the money you can't beat. They're like like six seven dollars. When like our local local for us is the it's the next town over, and still we'll have to go to the other side. We'll still have to get dry ice to get them home. Yeah, I know. But once they open uh, closer, we'll try all of them. We'll try all of those. Think yeah. of all those. They have a regular like. All yes. the time flavors that we yes. didn't get to try. that we haven't tried yet. And so uh, we will try all of those. Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, okay, now I know Courtney sent us that Snickers. This one? Yes, and you love that. I loved it. It was... Um, yeah, we wrote our name on it. It was... It, well, yeah, but it was Galactic, Galactic Snacks. Snacks. That's what it was. And it was... Uh, um, she picked things out for us. And uh, this was one of them. She actually had... Um, picked one this one those. out as well, although we had already reviewed, we had already reviewed it, it by the time we got yep. her box. Yep. But both of these were, Courtney did send us one of these as well, mm -hmm. but both of these candy bars were really, really good. And if the, the Snickers company is stupid if they don't bring this over here, because it's like from Korea or Japan or somewhere, I don't remember oh, where, really some other country. Um, <laughs> It was, it's awesome. It was like the, it was, I liked it better than a regular Snickers. So what does that tell you? Um, they should definitely try these out. And if you haven't tried these, the um, sugar cookie, I like these. I think you like the big cup better and I like the minis better. Uh, if I remember correctly. That's probably true. Because the mini cups have more of the cookie pieces in it and the bigger cups still had a lot of peanut butter in them. Whereas the little minis you taste almost more of the cookie thing. So. I know that I have uh, since eaten those minis and I do like them. Yeah, they're very good. They, yeah. But the peanut butter is not as strong. It's very, very light. You get more peanut butter in, in the, the cup. big cup yeah. than you do the minis. Exactly. But, but if you're just like, like just passing through the kitchen and getting some and it it's actually uh, really nice it has a lot of uh, crispy crunchy uh -huh, pieces this little in cereal it. Or yeah cookie balls so it so it is nice yeah. but when you're comparing it to the, the that big cup yeah. that's there you're just getting more peanut butter yeah. in the big cup yeah. um and then the last thing for my channel for the tammy dunn youtube channel is the uh all i have to show you is the the card that they sent me in the mail this is the shortbread society and courtney ordered us this shortbread from gold belly normally you get uh two pieces two Pants, slabs trays. yes of shortbread but she actually ordered us a third shortbread so um your favorite was the peanut butter cup yes it was awesome Really good peanut butter. My favorite was the cherry bakewell. Mm. And they were all good. I mean, to be honest, it um, it is the it's the best shortbread. It's the best, uh, most well done shortbread that I've had in the United States. 
So, but the chef is from Scotland. He, he, uh, I, right? Yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, because his nickname Scottish is something. Scottish. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Francis. Yeah. Is his name Francis? Something. It's probably on that card. It probably is. I, I don't know. Is it? Is, no, this just tells oh, how to God. store it. Yeah. But I'm thinking his name was Francis. But anyway, um, it is uh, the best shortbread. The only bad thing is is it's very, very expensive. Very expensive. Because like I expensive. would have already gone ahead and ordered more <laughs> if it weren't so expensive. Yeah, it's very uh, expensive. It's like, what, $50? 50, 50 bucks a tray. A tray. Yeah, and the trays are yeah, yeah about that big. And about, a, about that thick. It's a good size tray. It's a good size, but it, it's But it's a lot $50. Yeah. And so, like I said, I would try... I, I don't know if they have like a, a storefront, like like can you walk into their place in New York? Cause that's where they're, or I think they're, or they're in New Jersey. I think they were in New Jersey. But I'm wondering, can you walk in there and get stuff? Because if you could, I would get, get like every single flavor I would have already tried. Um, but if it weren't $50 a tray, I would have already ordered more. That's how much I like it. Yeah. And that Cherry Bakewell was just, absolutely phenomenal and stuff from gold belly is very expensive it is anyway. it's all expensive yeah yeah because we've seen things that gold belly sells that we bought like locally yes and it's like twenty dollars more oh gold yeah belly. they yeah, they, charge. they definitely up charge you on gold belly yes they're making <laughs> they're making some money yeah yeah somebody is somewhere yeah all right so what do you want do you want me to do this or you want to talk about this real quick Let's talk about that real quick because that wasn't a favorite meal. Right. Okay. Okay. So what happened? Kevin has another channel called Lunchtime Review. Mm -hmm. If you haven't checked it out, please do. Kevin reviews here lately. He's been reviewing a meal seven days a week. He goes out Just to eat. Just because I have so many of them. <laughs> he has so many to do. Uh, but this, this is a lunchly meal. This is the Fiesta Nacho. This meal did not make it to favorites. No, it's what, just regular nachos. What happened no. was, is Kevin tried this drink. Mm -hmm. This is the prime drink, and it is the strawberry banana. And he did the review, and then afterwards, he wanted me to take a drink of this because he said, this is so good, I want you to try it. And I tried this, and I said, you have got to put that in favorites. It, that has to go in favorites. Because the meal itself only gave a three and a half out of five. This is only five calories. This strawberry banana, I would buy this all the time. It's I mean, good. it's probably expensive. I really yeah. should look for this to yeah. see. If I know. They... I saw Target had a bunch of prime drinks, but I didn't pay attention to what flavors they were. I saw a bunch of prime because like, I would, Target. I would totally buy this and drink it all the time. We need good. to remember this. I wonder. I, I bet they're they... more expensive though. But, uh, but I mean, who cares? But you know. Well, but I wonder if they sell them in six packs or do they I sell them know. in? I don't, I don't know, know I but I tell you what, I would I would drink this. All it was all very, very it good. It was so good, like five out of five. I mean, I liked it enough to tell Tammy, take a drink of this because it's really good. Yes, and the the strawberries excellent, and the banana is yeah. excellent, and it it it's is all, it's a very sweet. just a terrific like if you like that combination, this is wonderful. Yeah. Love so, it. So the meal, eh, the drink, really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. I also had a hate. Sometimes I go a whole month, I don't have any hates. This one right. I do. Uh, this is the Michelinus cheese pizza. It's one of these really thin microwave pizzas. Um, I gave it a 2.5, which is below average. I gave it out of a scale of five. Um, I said the, the soggy, mushy crust, cheap tomato sauce flavor should not have microwave directions at all because it is not made for the microwave. It, it just does not... You know, my opinion, and Tammy, is, we've, we've said this many times, if the box gives microwave directions, that means the company said, oh, you can make this in the microwave and it'll turn out pretty decent. Mm -hmm. uh, they should never put microwave directions on this meal. It should just be oven. They have oven and toaster oven on here. That's the only thing they should have on there. Just mm -hmm. don't put microwave directions on it. Because if it doesn't have microwave directions on it, guess what? I'm not trying it. There's right. plenty of things that we've seen. It'd be like, I'd love to try that, but there's no microwave direction, so I don't try it. Exactly. Um, because it doesn't work in the microwave. This does not work in the microwave. Yes. So this is my hates for the month. It wasn't because of necessarily the, the flavor was horrific. 
but everything about it was just a bad I experience. I remember you picking it. It was limp. Oh, yeah. You would pick <laughs> the end of it up, and it would just go, yeah. and just like, it was just awful. And I mean, again, if the company is confident enough to put microwave directions on the back, guess what? He's going to microwave yeah. it because that's, that's only fair. I, I mean, if you take it to fair. work, how are you going to eat it? That's right. Most of the time. Yeah. Most of the time, people don't have ovens and toaster ovens and, and air fryers and stuff at work, but you do have a microwave, so, you know. Yeah, so it's probably it a lot better work. in the oven. Of course it is, but oh, then don't put microwave directions on it. The cheap sauce wouldn't have been any better, but mm -hmm. the crust at least wouldn't have been as soggy. Right. Yeah. So the flavor probably wouldn't have been any better, but the, at least the texture and stuff would have been better. Right. So that was my hates for the month. Uh, this is a likes. Uh, this is a, the Evol Chicken Adobo. Uh, I gave this one a 4.5. And it is um, chicken breast and a red chili sauce with uh, elote style corn and cilantro rice. And I really liked it. Normally, I don't like cilantro rice because it's very strong. Um, this one was really nicely balanced flavor-wise and stuff. So it was just overall, everything was good about it. It was really good. And then this is a meal. This is the Bob Evans... Uh, it's a side, but it's the queso mac and cheese. Bob Evans actually sent this to me for free. We would have given it the same rating regardless because whether they sent it to me free or not, I'm always going to be honest about it. It was just really good. I gave it a four and a half out of five. Um, very good and cheesy. It wasn't like that powdery cheese flavor. It was actually tasted like real cheese melted in there. Um, the spices, it's hot. So, so no, it is spicy. But it's not like so spicy you can't handle it. It's, it's a nice slice of the pasta. It was really cooked well. You really got the peppers flavor. It was, it was just overall, if you want a side dish um, to go with your um, taco night or whatever, if you want a side dish, this would be really good. Okay, so then I told you, Kevin goes out to eat <coughs> once a week. Well, this month, we not only did we, we have... Not only did we have five Thursdays, because that's when the videos are posted, every Thursday. Um, so you will be seeing one this afternoon. When this video, uh, so we'll uh, we're going to give you a little spoiler. Um, <laughs> but uh, this month, not only did, were there five Thursdays, but Kevin also went out an extra day. Uh, so you had the Domino's. You had the five cheese mac and cheese. You had spicy buffalo five cheese mac and cheese. And you had a marbled cookie brownie. Mm -hmm. That was all from Domino's. Yep. Then you had the Wendy's Krabby Patty collab meal, which had a special sauce on the burger. And it had a pineapple under the sea frosty. And I think there were just regular french fries with that one. Yeah. And then the extra meal for the month, like on a Tuesday, he got the McDonald's uh, Chicken Big Mac. Mm -hmm. So instead of having burger on the Big Mac, it had chicken. Mm -hmm. And then you had Firehouse Subs. You had the Thanksgiving Turkey Sub. And then you had uh, Roosters, thanks to Nina. Nina sent Kevin a gift card to Roosters. And so he had the Roosters now. And she also sent me what her favorite meal was. Yes. So, so Kevin I tried ordered, her favorite meal. Yes. So Kevin had the Rooster's Nest, Tots, bread and breaded pickle chips. And honestly, if the Nina... The bread pickle next chips were not one of her meals. If Nina hadn't told us about this place, we would have never known it it's was there. It's tucked the, away. Yeah, it's kind of back you off the road. You can't see it from the road. Yeah, we wouldn't have even known this place existed. And there's another chicken place like literally right next door. <laughs> uh, and then the meal for today, the meal that you're going to see this afternoon, is the Arby's Thanksgiving. Uh, Kevin tried the deep fried turkey gobbler, the deep fried turkey club, and the pumpkin pie turnover. No. I so, don't like the name turkey gobbler. Isn't that this part of the turkey? <laughs> Doesn't that make you think no, you're no, eating just that noise. part? It just makes a gobble noise. Gobble, gobble, oh, gobble. Oh, because I, I think of this as, what is this it's called? A, I don't know. It's called a waddle on people. A waddle. <laughs> I don't know a what waddle. It's called. I, don't know I what always it's thought that turkey. was the gobbler. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I don't, I'm not a turkey uh, aficionado. Um, yeah. <laughs> so the really the most disappointing thing on this whole list was the Wendy's Krabby Patty. Um, it was it was nothing really. I mean, I gave it was good. It tasted good, but their burgers are already good. I like a good Wendy's burger anyway. So I'm not gonna rate it bad because their burgers are good. Uh, but the only thing they did different to it was they added a sauce to a burger. But that's it. So. You know, whatever. Gimmicky. It's very gimmicky. And the 
the pineapple, I, I wasn't reading the descriptions of, of most of these when I was looking at them. The Frosty says pineapple under the sea Frosty. So I was expecting it to be pineapple. It didn't taste like pineapple. Um, I said during the video, and I don't even remember what I said now that it tasted like. Um, it was something not pineapple. But it ended up having mango with pineapple. And it didn't taste anything like, oh, it was peach rings. That's what I said. I said it tasted like the little peach rings. And somebody else agreed with me in the comments that they thought it tasted like peach like rings the, as well. But it was mango. Why it was would they mango, add that to a pineapple under the sea? If you're going to call it pineapple under the sea, why make the major flavor mango? That doesn't that even make no any sense. That makes no sense. And then people in the comments were saying, well, it says it's a mango uh, pineapple flavor. And it's like. But it shouldn't have been. It should have been called a been. pineapple mango yeah. under the sea then. Yeah, it's, it's who so lives anyway. in a pineapple under the sea. It, I don't know why they couldn't have just done pineapple. Spongebob. Why not do pure pineapple? They make pineapple puree. Just mix it in with the ice cream. Yeah, they good. shouldn't have made mango. Um, so anyway, that was the most, most disappointing one. The Domino's was good. It was just your basic mac and cheese. And the buffalo one. Guess what? They just sprinkled buffalo sauce on top of it. That was literally the only difference between right, the two. Right. One had no buffalo and one did. Right. Um, but the, the brownie was really good. I, I did like the brownie. Um, the surprising one, honestly, was the chicken Big Mac. I really liked it. And some people said they'll stick with the Big Mac. They like the Big Mac better. I've never been a fan of Big Mac because the patties are about the size of a piece of paper. You know, I mean, it's like it's like nothing there. So you're getting, yeah. There's how that's your that's, that's big, your Big Mac patty. You get two of them. Good for you. Um, so so fold that piece of paper in half. The, there's nothing there, right? So it's all bread and lettuce and sauce and all. It really, you're not tasting the burger at all. Um, the chicken Big Mac was a little bit thicker chicken. And the chicken wasn't, some people were saying, isn't it just the same as the, the grilled chicken? It's not. It's a completely different texture of breading. It is more like the chicken nugget breading than the crunchy chicken breading. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I said during the video, I said McDonald's is being stupid. They could take that exact same patty and make extra large chicken nuggets and sell like a four pack of them. Mm -hmm. People would buy them. People would buy them like crazy because they're just big chicken nuggets is all they were. I like the I like the chicken Big Mac better than I do the regular Big Mac. Um, the fire sub was really really good. The the rooster's uh, nest was really good, and they um, the deep fried turkey that that's coming out this afternoon was really really good. I'm trying to think of which one I would actually go buy again though. You really like the firehouse. I would probably either do the firehouse was really good and it did have actual dressing on it. Um, honestly, I'd probably go to the Arby's and get the um, the fried turkey club mm -hmm. but i did like the 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 only thanksgiving thing about the the gobbler was the sauce had an herb sauce on it that had like a, some seasonings in the mayo basically some people won't like it as much i liked it but some people won't um, i would still get the turkey club because it had lots of bacon on it that pumpkin pie turnover though i'm telling you if you don't try that while it's still while it's here it's it's if you like pumpkin pie at all go try it because it's really really good that's probably my favorite thing out of the whole list is that pumpkin pie turnover oh the dessert <laughs> yeah it was really really good um, yeah. okay well i was not planning on bringing this up because i had just honestly i had forgotten about it but it, it, it sparked my memory because there were several special meals that came out this month of of october and that uh crabby patty was one of them well, another one that came out oh, was King. the Adams <clears throat> family. Don't even get was me started. That it? Wednesday. Oh, the Wednesday. That was it. The Wednesday. I always think of Adams family. Okay, you have to tell them. I had to delete twice. Twice. Two videos. You have to tell them because somebody, it's always the same thing. Somebody. First of all, somebody requested that Kevin try this meal. Which really, it's just... Um, I, I didn't want to anyway. Kevin didn't want to try it anyway. I said it's just a big gimmick. And it's a gimmick. It's a way for people to get clicks. It's a way... But you know what? Other people are getting clicks on their video and you're missing out by not having that yeah, video. Because people will watch it. Even if it's a gimmick, people are going to watch it. Because yeah, so, I've tried you know, some of their other gimmicky burgers and all they do is change the color of the bun. It's like, whatever. Right. Um, so anyway, I went through the line. I was going to get it. I was going to get one of everything. Uh, the this first was at Burger King? Burger King. Okay. So, and it's our local in-town Burger King. Yeah. So I went, through Burger, I went through the line, ordered the stuff, and they said, uh, I got to the shake. They had some kind of um, 
um, chocolate cake. It was a special shake, a Wednesday like a cake, shake. Like yeah. um, batter shake or something like that. So they said, we our shake machine's down. Our ice cream machine's not working. And I said, do you know when it should be back up? It's in heat mode, whatever the hell that means. Um, so it's in heat mode. And it's like, why are you heating up my spring? But whatever. Um, so I'm assuming they're cleaning it or whatever, whatever, whatever that means. So, um, so they said it's in heat mode and they couldn't sell. And I said, when will it be back up? I'm thinking, oh, it's going to be in heat mode for like 30 minutes or so. And it'll be, a, it'll be tomorrow. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, we'll just cancel my whole order. Then I'll, I'll, I'll come back. So yeah. they can't, I cancel my order. Next day, I come back. No, wait. You no, called. No, it's a couple. Yeah, I you called. called. That's right. I did call. I called and I said, is Because he didn't want to go all the way out there and film it. Do this whole intro yeah. and film it and everything. That's right. Know. So, I forgot. I called. So, I called and I said, I was there yesterday and your shake machine was, was not working. Is it working today? Oh, yeah. Shake machine's good to go. Yeah, it's, it's working fine. So, I go. Did the whole thing over again. Ordered everything. To me, a total and everything. You know, I've, I've already ordered the shake, everything. Go up to the window. They're they're getting my food together, and she goes, "Our shake machine. We're out of the the mix for this shake. Whatever the cake the cake batter or whatever it was. We're out of the mix for that shake." Um, so you couldn't get you could have a and, shake, but not that shake. Yeah, I could have a like a vanilla shake, but I couldn't have that shake. Mm -hmm. And it's like you know, I just cancel the whole thing. I'm just gonna because I'm thinking he was so. I was so frustrated, but really the only <laughs> thing different about the entire meal. Was the shake being a cake yeah? But didn't they something. have like churro fries? They had churro fries, which uh, I don't know if I've had their churro fries, but I've had them from somewhere else. If any of these videos sound interesting to you, I hope you'll check them out, and I hope you'll check out Kevin's Lunchtime Review Channel because he does a good job over there, and he gets straight to the point. He doesn't uh, talk a long time and, and take up your valuable time. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video, and we will see you at the end of November.